I wanted to create this video uh, and answer a question that keeps coming up over and over and over. Will losing weight reduce my insulin resistance, okay? Now, this could be also uh, pre-diabetes or diabetes. Insulin resistance is kind of the thing that comes before pre-diabetes. But if you have pre-diabetes or you have diabetes, you also have insulin resistance. So insulin resistance is a situation where your, your cells are not absorbing insulin anymore. They're rejecting it. And your body is now making way more insulin than it should. Okay, And insulin, what it does is it blocks the ability to burn fat. So you can't lose weight. And also, it causes you to store fat. And it will keep you at that certain set point, like that plateau. So you may lose weight, but then you plateau at a certain amount, like let's say 180, and you just can't seem to get past that point. That's because you have insulin resistance. So now the question is, if you lose weight, can you improve this? And does it put your body in a state where you can actually lose weight more easily? Here's the answer. It really depends how you go about losing weight. Okay. Now let me explain that. If you try to lose weight incorrectly, Let's say you do it with move more, less calories, but you don't change your carbohydrate level. So you're like the biggest loser, for example, where they're watching their calories and they're exercising like crazy all day, but they haven't reduced the, this thing internal. Okay, They haven't tried to target this as a cause of the obesity. They haven't fixed it. So they're losing weight to a certain point just with the fact that they're exercising so much and trying to burn the calories, but they still haven't fixed this, what's gonna happen? They're gonna gain the weight right back. And that's really what happens if you don't do it correctly. And that also explains the fact that people on so many different diets, if they are on the wrong diet, they will lose, gain, lose, gain, until the point where they will not lose anymore because they develop so much insulin resistance. So I'm sort of talking about a side uh, topic with this, but I think it's important because if you know how to lose weight correctly, and that would be healthy keto and intermittent fasting, you're going to correct insulin resistance, and it's going to make it very easy to lose weight and bust through the stuck metabolism plateau. Okay, so now over here, if someone's obese and they lose weight, will they improve insulin resistance? if they do healthy keto and intermittent fasting. Now, if you have too much fat on your body and you are severely overweight, um, your fat cells will release something called cytokines. And cytokines give off these little signaling molecules. Okay, these things right here. You don't really need to know anything more than they create inflammation, okay? So now we have more inflammation in the body and we're giving off too many free radicals and that's creating destruction through the body. And then this right here can worsen insulin resistance. So being overweight can cause insulin resistance. But here's the thing. Insulin resistance can also cause inflammation because of the high insulin. Having insulin resistance will increase more insulin, which will then cause more fat cells. So it's a two-way road. Once you actually gain all this weight, now it's gonna be very, very difficult to lose it simply because the fact that you have so much fat is creating this sequence and this generating this thing right here. So what does all this mean? How can we use this information to um, achieve our weight loss goals? What I would recommend is not trying to lose weight to reduce your insulin resistance. I would instead fix insulin resistance to lose weight because it's much easier. As soon as you start reducing your insulin, what's gonna happen, you're gonna to start to burn fat. You're gonna stop storing fat, and then you're gonna fix your metabolism, and you're also gonna reduce your hunger and cravings to make it easy to do this. If you try to lose weight without fixing this, just the hunger alone is gonna keep you from being successful. If you're new to my channel and you wanna know how to do this, I put a link down below. It really boils down to healthy keto and intermittent fasting. Thanks for watching.